Hello, G. We are going to begin your daily physical training session. When you hear the buzzer, move to the right. Congratulations, G. On with on with the exercises. When you hear the buzzer, move to the left. Well done, G. Now look around, up at the ceiling and down at the floor. Very good. You should now feel the overwhelming urge to leave this room. Perfect, G. Very good. Now you know that the world is not limited to a single room. Look further. Excellent, G. As you can see, shrubs are blocking your way. You should feel an ir irrational desire to chop them down with the sword we have provided. Congratulations! You are quite pleased to have chopped down those shrubs. As a reward, we will put on some relaxing music. Good! You appreciate this music. Continue on your way, G. We will now conduct the combat test. Oops, our apologies, a computing error. In short, fight! Donji, you are pleased with your fight. So, that's him. He passed all the tests with flying colors. Yes, he's just right for the task will be interesting to him. I certainly hope you're right. A single misstep could bring about the end of time itself. Rest assured, Professor. We've checked and double-checked. Everything will proceed as planned. Good. Then we'll be able to activate the machine. Make the necessary preparations. Yes, Professor. A long time ago, the Magi civilization had discovered great secrets. No one knows how exactly, but it disappeared soon after that, marking the beginning of a new era. In year 950, humans and demons fought a merciless war. The human empire won at the greatest cost. Fifty years later, the city of Genova is preparing the remembrance ceremony of the victory. Everything is as peaceful as it seems. That would help you jog your memory. By the way, I didn't introduce myself. My name is... Lina. I... I hope you remember everything quickly.
a nice pod that must contain a lot of interesting things. But you can't open it. This chest could probably be open if the developers of this game had time to code it. Alchemy instruments, mushrooms and butterflies. Who could use that? You're the young man I found in the forest, aren't you? Fina has been worried about you. Be sure to thank her when you get the chance. If you wish to go into the forest, take the path that crosses the bridge and make your way north. But you'd do well to get yourself a weapon before you head out. The war against the demons ended 50 years ago with the Empire Victorious. We've had peace ever since, but you never know. Let's keep running to stay in shape. And the kid running <laughs> around the well. At the bottom of the well, you make out the remains of an adventurer. Who would be dumb enough to go down a well? Normally, I would be out of for a stroll in the forest around this time, but a bunch of monsters appeared there recently. In fact, that was right after Finros brought you here. They attacked you, didn't they? I heard that pirates are camped out on the cursed isle. So far, they only attack boats belonging to Serena traders. Rumor has it that their leader is a giant with a crazy big mustache. I have a thing for mustaches. Have you heard of the sylphs? They are strange beings that exist out of time. Some say a sylph lived in these parts long ago. What may have happened to her? This door is closed. So who can give me a weapon or how can I get that one? This village is so boring. I would love to live at the time of Emperor Lothier. Who knows, maybe I could have been a general in his army and fought demons. In... Oh, weapon. Welcome to Everything Under the Sun. Here you'll find everything under the sun. Except I don't have anything to sell at the moment. The road to the Empire's capital was blocked by a rock slide. It will probably be a few more days before they clear it out. Yes, I know, another rock slide. It's like they happen every other day. Are you looking for a weapon to go out into the forest? There may be one in the old house northeast of the village, but it's been abandoned since... Mm, I'd rather not talk about it for now. Try to track down old Maid Paul, he's got the key. But watch yourself, he's not the most easygoing sort, especially if you bother him while he's fishing. What a nice day to fish in peace with nobody around to bug me. Well, almost nobody. What? The key to the old house? Hmm, I might have it. Or not. It depends. How about you do me a favor in return? Yes? See, I have this fish related issue I can't seem to solve. Maybe a young fella like yourself could help me out. Number one, fishing rods. My fishing rods are all tangled up. I can't tell one from another. Each time they cross, follow the line that goes left or right. Which rod should I use to catch that fish? Okay. This will go to the right, then to the right, then to the right, then to the right, to the left, to the left, to the left, right. Wait, four? To the left, to the left, to the left, to the right. Thanks for the helping me out. Let me give you this old key. It's no good to me anyway. Insert the lock of the appropriate door. Don't turn. Insert in the lock. Up north 
there's the old spellbook forest, which is usually pretty quiet. Wait, where's the old house? Which one is the old house? Is it here or is the house in the old forest? My husband won't stop cutting wood. Where are we going to store all this? And hopefully the Frost Guardian isn't too upset by all the racket. So I think the old house may not be here. Someday I'm going to explore the frozen continent for myself, just like the famed explorer Largo. But today is not a good day. Uh, I am about due for an up. Be careful, monsters started overrunning the forest yesterday. Since it's become so dangerous, you should find yourself a weapon before going there. Why don't you stop by the store? They might have one uh, yeah. Okay, so we need to find the abandoned house. The one that's locked, perhaps? Chest with no weapon. Five gold. And first chest. Old sword. He was hoping it doesn't shatter on the first blow. Whoa. Wait, there's more of them. Is that a giant squirrel? Oh. That's definitely a giant squirrel. Oh, please just don't go into Pokemons. Please don't go into Pokemons. The small stone cannot hit me. you tell me that the forest is full of monsters? Usually I can manage on my own just fine, 
but it just so happens that I hate mushrooms. Anyway, thank you for your help. Um, still can't remember your name, can you? How about I choose one for you? It would be temporary, of course, as long as it takes for you to remember it all. Let's see, your name could be... So, Clang, what do you say I help you get deep into the forest, to the spot where my father found you? It just so happens I have this little power that could be of real use to you. And frankly, I intend to go there and find out why all those monsters appeared recently. So, shall we? Yes. Fina has joined the team. that we're a team, we're going to have to work together. For example, those thorny bushes there. You won't be able to cut them by yourself to clear all the way. But with my help and by focusing, you should be able to do it. Try focusing and I'll come help you. See? Good thing I was here. Still, that really hacked me out. Once you've called on me, I'll need to rest for a bit before starting again. Feel free to ask, just the same, because I'm glad to help you out, Clank. Okay, safe. Ow. Okay, so safe. Here, safe points also heal. Seems to think. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. For some reasons, our goggles were on. Clan oh, has ritual too. Crew. Fin Goop. Yeah, it's sticky. Second, I thought it was a phone booth. Okay, we're dangerous close. Wait. Oh, I can destroy stones. Can I? No, can't do anything with that. Yet. This is the spot where my dad found you. Careful! I see some demons in the clearing. What could they be doing here? That's it. They don't look friendly. Is that it? Cherry, are you sure that's really a Magalith? Professor Giro's writings are uh, unambiguous. If we activate this megalith, megalith, we'll be able to tap into great amounts of magi energy. It's a megalith, alright. I saw one just like it years ago. But that one was broken. We absolutely need the energy from this megalith. According to Professor Giro's records, the energy within the forest guardian would be enough to trigger it. The guardian has been long dormant, so it must be in a weakened state. We should have no trouble whatsoever defeating it. 
Soon I will have my revenge on those thrashed humans. Prepare to summon the guardian. Clank, this is awful. If they make the first wake the first guardian, it may attack my village. We've got to do something. Do you think we should stop them? Yes. It's risky. We might be better off warning somebody. But there's no time. The Guardian! It's weak! Watch out. It's more powerful than we anticipated. Let the thing wear itself out destroying the village. We'll return. Afterwards and finish it off. Oh no, Clank! If we don't do anything, it will attack my village. We have to try and stop it before it's too late. Yes. I knew I could count on you. I'll help out. Just don't do anything rush, okay? Okay, I think I'm best off hitting it a lot. Since I'm able to stand close to it for long enough to charge my focus at it. we're talking about. Hmm, there's something written on here. Laura made some dollar seed, Annette. <laughs> it's glowing! What the heck? What the heck happened? I feel different. Less detailed? How about you, Clan? Same? Yes. Now where are we? It's a bit like spellbook horrors, but there's something different. But uh, there's something different about it. Could be my imagination, though. Either way, those humans put my village at risk. We've got to he head there now and warn everyone. Think we can find the path again? No. It's really not that complicated. Let's go back to the village. My father must be getting worried. And of course, I'll go on the killing spree again. That higher level. One of the dirty stars. That's something new. 
Oh, I think that's the stone that we managed to kill earlier. I was shocked that we were able to destroy it. Okay, but I think that's gonna be it for today. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!